Today's video is all gonna be about hitting the ball longer off the tee, gaining distance. This is a follow-up from a video I've done about lifting your lead heel in the backswing to help you create a bigger turn. I'm gonna share with you a real simple exercise to help you if it's something you're working on. Stay tuned for more info. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is all gonna be about hitting the ball longer off the tee, so gaining some distance with the driver. And as I said in the intro, this is a bit of a follow-up to a video I've done before about lifting, should we lift the lead heel in the backswing or not, and the benefits it may have. Now, for a lot of golfers who are suffering perhaps uh, with injury or lack of uh, mobility, flexibility, lifting that lead heel, meaning they can complete their hip turn, complete their shoulder turn and make a bigger movement away from the golf ball is definitely a power source. If you're supple enough that you can restrict your lower body and still make a big full shoulder turn, then fantastic, that is gonna work for you. But there's not many golfers that's gonna work for. Uh, generally, younger kids, uh, ladies who perhaps are a little bit more supple, but most people are losing flexibility unless you're doing something about it and doing a lot of stretching, yoga, etc. then you're generally gonna be losing a little bit of that suppleness. So allowing that lead heel to, to rise, allowing that trail hip, so for me, my right hip to turn behind me allows me to complete my shoulder turn. But it's really key, and this is what I'm gonna be touching on in this video, it's really key that if we do allow that heel to lift to rise on the backswing, we make sure that the very first movement at the start of the downswing is to slam that heel back down to the ground. And I was really recently teaching someone and I was getting them to do this drill, which made me think of, of actually filming a video on it. I think it could be helpful for a number of golfers. And the thought for her was actually that she was squashing a bug. So it was lift the heel, squash the bug down, but make it the very first movement at the start of the downswing. It has a lot of benefits. If my heel slams back down to the ground, it re-centers my lower body, and I've talked about that in other videos, so I won't touch on it too much here, but we're not just trying to rotate our body, because that would mean that I'm hanging back. We're trying to recenter our hips, get them back to about where they were before they can start to rotate through. The other benefits it has is it applies pressure to my lead side, my lead foot, and it sequences my downswing correctly. So I'm starting to actually use my knees and hips first before I use my torso and my upper body. So we're getting the right sequence of events. And in the exercise, what I had her doing was using uh, a foot wedge here. So it's from Skills Golf. It's a, a foot wedge, a, a clicker. I'm sure there's ones from others, or you could even just use a dog's toy, anything that's got a noise to it. And I'm gonna put it under my lead heel, my left foot, and it makes a noise. So the idea with this is going to be that, start with it clicked, release the click on the backswing as you allow that, allow that lead heel to come up. Allowing it to come up allows me to complete hip turn, complete shoulder turn. I don't mind if there's a little bit of upward movement with the head as long as our head goes back down as we replant that heel. What we don't want to see as we lift the heel is a lot of lateral movement too much away from the target. So we're still trying to keep our head relatively centered over the ball. Half a head's width on the way back is perfectly acceptable. But the idea with this clicker would be release the click and then re-click at the start of the downswing. So we're actually applying that pressure to our lead side and knowing that we're doing it. Let me see if I can give this a go. So I'll set up and then I'll move the clicker where I need it to be. And the idea is going to be that I hear the click as on, on my backswing and then I hear the click again as I start my downswing. So just roughly in position. So if I can pop this under my lead heel around there somewhere, the exercise, as I said, would be, I hear the click and I hear the click as I start my downswing to sequence better. Let me give that a go. Just feel a little bit too far away. So get yourself in a position where you're comfortable. I've still flared my lead foot out when doing this exercise to help my body rotate. So the idea is going to be, hear the click on the backswing and try and get that click again as I start my downswing, making sure that my pressure is really applied to my lead side. So once you've done some exercises with that, 
maybe just clip some T pegs without the ball. Try and get that feeling of lift the heel, slam the heel down. We definitely want it to be the first movement at the start of the downswing. We don't want it to be too late. And the lady I was coaching who sort of inspired this video, she was lifting the heel. She wasn't getting it down quick enough. So the heel was actually touching the ground, but too late. So the idea would be to try and get that heel to the ground a little bit sooner. Let me just go ahead and hit one last one without the clicker. Just getting that feeling of lifting and slamming. I'll take the ball flight a little bit left of target, but definitely got that sensation of applying the pressure towards my lead side at the start of the downswing, and that being the activating movement of that heel movement back down to the ground. I know it will help you if you can some, put some time and effort in on the driving range with that. If you are struggling with swing length, if you are struggling with distance or mobility, then allow that lead heel to rise, but make sure you're slamming it back down at the start of the downswing to get all the correct downswing movements that we really want. If that video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for all the other content. Cheers guys, we'll see you soon.